So here we're going to extend our um, examples on geolocation from the original simulation model we did. We've already done one example where we found this particular transmitter as it's sweeping across um, the band. Um, and now we want to go in and look at to uh, geolocate other transmitters. So, so we have a, a single geolocation sweep here. So we're actually creating um, bearings for every single frequency across here and then we're telling the whole of a band to try and do a geolocation and it's picking up the highest power um, to come up with a geolocation of this um, particular transmitter. We can use AOA multi-target tracking which is going to be the subject of um, future videos but for now let's concentrate on this one. So we're going to let's try and find this particular signal here. Okay, So, so we can move the display across which means we're changing the whole of our um, bearing tracking. This particular window here is showing a, a quality um, factor to the um, DF bearing result and if I zoom into this particular um, frequency here then we can look at the quality we can put a quality threshold on there and we can also um, change our windowing so that we're picking up and scaling our quality factor correctly. So as we bring this down here, what we're doing is we're putting a power window on around our quality um, so that we can threshold on the quality better. So we're scaling our results to um, to the available signal we have. So we go in here, we have an integrated power, we have a certain quality factor here, and we can bring in a quality threshold. So now I have a threshold here saying disregard any of these bearing values. Every one of these um, individual bins from the resolution we're using on the sweep is a bearing value for the um, for the actual geolocation and then we take an average of all bearings across this across this band. So we're going to bring in some uh, just bring in a little bit of averaging here on the results the kind of scalings around here are around five miles to from from this uh, receiver to, to the actual transmitter. <coughs> so you can see now we're, we're getting a geolocation for that particular transmitter. Um, but every now and again um, we see a, a big burst come through which is our like a jamming burst we've got um, running here which is a simulation of a jammer. So what we can do as well is we can say well we also want to squelch any results that come in above our current integrated values. So this is our integrated power values across this band, these flat lines here, and we're saying if any of those jump above this value um, then we want to squelch that individual result. Our AOA uh, requirement is that we have a minimum of two nodes creating a suitable AOA in order to um, create the geolocation. Okay, so so that's that particular transmitter geolocated, as well as the very very small sweeping transmitter. And in the next video, we'll look at um, this particular transmitter here.